This is StormTrack 12. Well, you couldn't ignore it. You could just feel that heat and humidity building in as we went throughout the afternoon. Going home from my dinner break tonight, uh, yeah, the apartment was a pretty warm one here, and it's still very warm outside for September 22nd. Check it out. 73 degrees as we look down towards Johnson City. And again, we're just past the 10 o'clock hour, of course, and we're still in the 70s. Plenty of yellow still popping up on this map. You see those lower 70s pretty much everywhere. We have a few 60s out there in green and also in Windsor, both down to 60. But anyway, you cut it again. This is fairly warm for this late in the night here and dew points. Those have also been on the rise as we've gone throughout the entire day and check out that humidity that has now built in again, lower to middle 60s for those dew points across New York and Pennsylvania. And we're going to keep this humidity around, but that frontal system is slowly starting to arrive from the west. And again, you can see all of that rainfall, the clear cut frontal boundary that is making its way across the middle of the country. And that rainfall is now overspreading towards Lake Erie and Ontario, but it's going to take its time. We're not going to see any rainfall until we get later in the day on Monday. As a matter of fact, we still have fairly clear skies out there for the moment, but we're going to start to see those clouds build in as we go throughout the rest of the night tonight, and that is going to keep us warm and muggy into the day tomorrow. And yes, it's going to be a soggy one tomorrow afternoon, a bit breezy at times, that front moving through for the first day of fall, but then we do sharply drop those temperatures back down for the second day of fall on Tuesday. And are we expecting more dry time or rainfall then for the rest of the week and we'll show you that here in just a second but future track again tonight showing we could see those clouds in spots throughout the night but they will be building in then as we go into the afternoon with that front approaching ever so ever more closely there there's the shower starting to develop off to the west as we get later in the day and that front should cross the area as we get just past sunset tomorrow bringing the bulk of the shower and storm activity tomorrow that quickly clears out it's going to be dry overnight into Tuesday but some wraparound showers in the northwest flow could develop then as we get into your Tuesday afternoon on a very cool again second day of fall and when all is said and done it's not going to be a washout by any means anywhere from a quarter to three quarters of an inch of rainfall once we get this rain out of here again so not like we're going to get any substantial amounts of precipitation temperatures tonight going to be down into those 60s for the most part really not cooling off much at all we make a run back to the upper 70s but the clouds and rainfall should cool us off and you can see once that front passes us by it is going to cool off very quickly down into the 50s there and then we only get back into the 60s on your Tuesday afternoon. So again, mainly clear right now. Clouds are going to be returning late in the night tonight. There's your first day of fall day planner. Rain builds in as we go into the afternoon there. And again, those rain chances quickly drop off into Tuesday, but return on Thursday. Sounds like Monday. The rain coming in on the first day. It of seems this like, yeah, one heck of a way to start <laughs> the week right there for us, but hey, that's what we get, I guess. Yeah, well, thank you, Damon. Coming up in sports, Daniel Jones made history in his first start with the Giants.